Hey, this is Sonic 2 kk here, and welcome back to another Love to Need tutorial. Well, actually, it's called Lerv, or L-O with two dots above it, V-E. Uh, I think it's pronounced Lerv or something, but people call it Love 2D, and people say, Oh, come on, people just love to dance, <laughs> which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, uh, what, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to focus on getting the, the, the uh, things that the player can eat onto the screen. So, uh... Let's create a new file and we're going to call it food.lua. We're going to create food table function food new. And what we're going to do here is we're going to type 02 equals a new table. Just because it's already taken, the O is already taken. If we make it local, it's just going to cause a load of problems. Uh, this isn't the best way to do it, by the way, but I'm just going to show you some of the basics. So the X and Y position was... Well, actually, we need to define the width and height. The width is going to be 10. Height is going to be 10. X is going to be math.random. Now, this may seem a little bit confusing. Uh, this basically means spawn it at a random location. and We need to put in... Uh, values in here. Math that random between 0 and 800 because 800 is the width of the screen. Take away uh, the take away width self dot width. This basically just gets our width just, just to be clear. This gets the width. In fact, no. Just over up with. Over to up with. I think. Let's see. Uh, Require food. Any errors? Nope. What if we did? No. What about self? Nope. No errors. Uh. Anyway, this basically spawns it at a random x position. Then y. We need to put a comma in here. Y equals math dot random. Away, stuff up. Right. Now this should make sense because all we're doing here is we're spawning at a random expedition and keeping it within the bounds of the window. Take away our width and height. It's basically the same as the collision. Uh, yeah. So, function uh, foods. Uh, well, we want update in here dt. If. Uh, oh. 2.x I don't know oh, .x. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, get a piece of code from somewhere so I will uh, be back in a second so I got the code now I'm not exactly sure what this does uh, <laughs> that sounds bad but it's basically just checks for collision we check if o.y plus o so we check if the player's Y position, which is in the player class, or player file in here. Also, we need to make meta tables. I forgot about that. Set meta table. O2 index equals food. So we're basically checking if the player's Y position plus his height is greater than the food's Y position. Then if the player's Y position is less than the food's Y position. Plus the food's height and just inverted it for the x. Basically, th this checks for collision uh, properly. Sort of. I think Bob Butler does would do this better, but just just do this. Just know to do this. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then we want to say what happens whenever if the food is if the player's colliding with the food. Food respawn. Which basically respawns the food, which is a function we haven't made yet. Food respawn. Pushback. I feel tipping. Oh, respawn. Wow, was that so hard, Eamon? Was that really so hard? Uh. And that happens if the player collides with the food. Uh, yeah. 
So what we're gonna do in here is we want the call we want the create anything. We're gonna call norm equals food new norm update dt. I believe I put dt in here, didn't I? I don't even need DT, but just in case we ever do need DT in the future, just pass it as an argument. Uh, oh, we never drew it. We never drew it. Wow. Uh, function food draw. Wow, I feel typing today. And I've only been awake like an hour. Wow. Uh, anyway. Hello? Graphics Rectangle Rectangle Fill Rotate dot X Rotate dot Y Rotate dot Width Rotate dot Height Fill dot Lure 25 Oh, okay, dot. Oh, because of the comma as well. Let's um, oh. And then we turn, okay. Okay, dot. No, it doesn't recognize it. Uh, huh. This is a problem. Hold on. I need it. I didn't. I don't like doing this. Uh, but um, I had to just. We we have to put this in here. Uh, there might be a way to fix this. Leave a comment if you know how to fix it, and I will leave an annotation. On the screen, like not in screen flow, but in like an actual YouTube annotation and credit in the, in the description if you figure out a way to fix this. So yeah, and let's build it. We're not calling the draw function though. P or no, no draw. Third third W, a no value. Uh, <clears throat> nope, sorry, what level is it? the problem with the mistake of the field. Yeah, we have the same problem down here that we did, which was 10. And actually, here we can probably do. We'll turn up with. No, crap. Two. Yeah, yeah, look. Now when we collect it, it spawns at a random position again. Yeah, so that's the uh, basic mechanics of our game. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. And hopefully we can get me to 100 or 300 subscribers. Which would be absolutely insane. So thank you for watching this tutorial. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Peace.